Hey guys, welcome back to Duel's Destiny. I'm Dave. And I'm Rebecca. And we're gonna do another duel for you going along with our Dueltober theme. I'm gonna duel Rebecca with my Dark Magician casual player deck. And I am gonna use my Blue Eyes deck. And the general idea behind this is I have in the mail. So later, a week or two from now, we're gonna do a mail opening video. And I've got a whole bunch of new cards that are going to improve my deck. I've been learning a lot more, lot more about meta and being competitive, and I think I have a deck profile that's pretty good. So, but we're gonna show you the decks that we have now, and then eventually we'll do the same thing with Rebecca's deck. And uh, she may not do a Blue Eyes deck at that point. You might do, you talk about doing Dragon Maid or something. Possibly. So uh, let's do this duel. We're gonna do the best two of three. So it looks like I'm going first, which that's A-OK -okay with me. So I'm going to set two cards in my spell and trap zone. I'm gonna special summon Apprentice Illusion Magician from my hand by discarding one card. I'm gonna activate her effect to add Dark Magician from my deck to my hand. Or not, you know, you could just do that too. So I'm gonna set, normal set a monster and I will pass for turn. Okay. Better that you got your Ash Blossom out of the way now, anyway. That's okay. Kind of annoying on the very first turn, but what do you do, right? Accept it. That's right. You accept it like a man, or like a boss. You take it. Melody of Awakening Dragon. Decent card for Casual Blue Eyes deck, get both of those in your hand so you can go for that fusion summon is what you're going for, huh? Maybe. Right out of the gate. We didn't expect anything less. And Maiden. Okay. Yes, and Maiden. Okay, so let's go ahead. Go to the battle phase, and we are going to get rid of this one right away. Apparently, I'll take it. <laughs> I'm going to go back to my main phase. I'm going to set a card and end. Okay, I draw for turn. I'm going to normal summon Magician's Rod. I'm going to activate his effect. I'm going to add Dark Magical Circle to my hand, then activate it on the field. I don't like that card. <laughs> it's an evil card. It can be. I'm going to excavate the top three cards in my deck. Nothing that I can add to my hand. I'm going to reorder them. And I will pass for turn. So I'm going to sacrifice probably a little bit more life points here again. I'm assuming you're going to attack. Going to activate Stamping Destruction, and I'm going to get rid of Dark Magical Circle and take 500 life points. Battle phase. Yes, I am going to attack. And end my turn. Okay, I'm going to simply pass for turn. Mm. I'm not doing too hot on this one. Summon. Kaiba Man. Activate. And summon a blue eyes. Going to activate. I have a slight feeling I'm gonna lose this one. And we are going to the battle phase. And we'll attack with blue eyes to your left points directly. I am losing this I one. I did. Oh no. Why didn't you attack with both? Or no, you did. I activated the effect of my blue eyes. Oh, I didn't even notice that. I looked away for a brief moment. Get rid of 
what I knew was likely to be this Gravekeeper card that a flip summoned can send one of my cards somewhere. See what happens when you take your eyes off the field, guys. Rebecca comes in and swoops in and takes all your, clears your board off. Okay, I'm going to uh, set one and end my turn. Uh, I think you definitely have the upper hand this match. She perks up when she's winning. She's def. You're very smiley. Right? Okay. And yes. I'm gonna negate. Well, not negate, but I'm gonna destroy with my ghost ogre. At least get that off the field. But I think I just lost anyway. Wow. Here it comes. Uh, ah! Like in the anime. Ah! Scream because the life points are like getting you. Okay, so we did battle number one. We're gonna do battle number two. I will go first. I'm gonna normal summon Magician's Rod. Activate his effect. I'm gonna add Magical Circle to my hand. I'm gonna activate that on the field. Add navigation to my hand, reorder my remaining two cards, and set one card on the field, and I'm gonna pass for turn. All right. First thing I'm gonna do is actually get rid of both of the cards. Son of a gun. That he has in his spell and trap zone. Son of some biscuits and gravy. You're killing me. Uh, so we've actually recorded like 10 duels and now that this, we've actually had some pretty decent battles so far, she's stomping me into the ground. Um, that's okay, that's how it goes. There were some duels we recorded before this one where I completely obliterated her. But I think this is the one we're gonna end up going with. So you guys are gonna enjoy watching her stomp my Dark Magician deck. It's not take my card. This is the app glitch again? Go. There you go. Got it. Okay. This is the beta two version, guys, of the YGO Pro, a dawn of a new era um, dueling platform. And Interesting, so you set Ash Blossom. Is that the only monster you had? No. Okay. But it's the only monster I can get. Okay, I'm gonna special summon Cosmo Brain by discarding Dark Magician. I'm gonna activate Cosmo Brain's effect by attributing Magician Rod to normals, or special summon rather, Dark Magician. So you've got that in defense position. I'm going to, my battle phase, I'm going to attack with Dark Magician. This could hurt just a little bit. Okay, no traps. Okay, now I'm going to attack with Cosmo Brain. And I'm gonna, since we're going to damage calculation, I'm gonna chain Dark Magic Expanded to give him an additional 1,000 attack. Okay, so she's going to... I'm gonna negate your Call of the Haunted, actually, by banishing navigation from my grave. <laughs> okay, I think I might be ever so slightly turning this around, so I'm gonna end my turn. Why is Call of the Haunted still on? Activate this card by targeting one card in your graveyard. Special summon that target in attack position. And this card leaves the field. Destroy that monster and that monster is destroyed. Because I negated the activation or the effect of the card, but it does not, navigation doesn't destroy it. So it actually, interestingly enough, left a continuous spell uh, trap card in your trap zone. Oh. 
Either that's actually the card ruling and how that works, or the game glitched. I actually think that might be the actual card ruling, though. And you were geckied my monsters while I was blabbing. Yep. <laughs> All right, then. <laughs> okay, well, I guess Don't I look will... away from the computer screen. Every time I look away, guys, she wipes my board. It, 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 she can't cheat because we're playing in this. We're not playing with actual cards, so she's actually wiping the board every time I don't look. Maybe that's her strategy. <laughs> Is that your strategy? No. Maiden. Okay. Maiden is one of my favorite cards because he dislikes it. And it gets me a blue eyes. Okay, well, I'm going to normal summon Ghost Ogre. I'm going to flip summon. A really sad waste of two hand traps, unfortunately. But we've had some bad wasted hand traps. I'm going to tribute those to special to plant i'm gonna fusion summon by paying 2000 life points for let's go with well i really can only fusion summon one realistically by oh and it's actually banished my magicalized fusion so actually i'm gonna do well i have to pick one of those so actually i'm gonna do the dark magicians I'm going to activate Dark Magic Inheritance by banishing two spell cards in my graveyard to add one to my hand. I'm going to pick Eternal Soul. I don't like that card, although it makes it very easy if I can get rid of his card, it destroys all his monsters. And it's like magic. Okay. It only counts if that card is face up, though. And that is. Ah, oh, I really didn't want to do that. I just targeted your card. Yep. I was like, is it going to let me pay 2,000 life points and fusion summon again? But no, I just targeted her mating, which I told her that was a big rookie mistake on my part. So she's going to get a blue eyes now. I do get a blue eyes. Does that make you happy? Yes. I basically yes, gave you a blue eyes. Yes, you did. Okay. You well, gave me a chance. <laughs> unfortunately, I am gonna, because I activated your effect of Maiden already, I am gonna get rid of it to get it off the field. And I should have. He made another mistake. <laughs> He Dang actually it. attacked with the 500. Wrong card, like wrong card. card. <laughs> or 2,800 card, which would have been very smart of him to have used. Okay. So we are going to go to battle phase and we are going to attack. I've made two mistakes in your favor now. No, I'm not gonna change anything. All right, take my... Actually, I should have changed it because then I could have drew, drew an additional card. Dang, okay. And end. Before you end your turn, I guess I will activate soul. I don't like that card. I'm actually going to go ahead and trigger the effect of Magician's Rod in my graveyard, which adds it to my hand. Because what I'm going to do now is during my turn, I'm going to normal summon Rod and activate his effect. I'm going to grab your favorite card and activate it. So this is it. one of the combinations that I absolutely hate when he gets out because he's just like, oh, let's just reuse the Dark Magician over and over and over. And every time he special summons a Dark Magician, he can just like banish a card. Yep. So I'm gonna banish your blue eyes because your trap card back there is just doing nothing for you. 
And now I'm gonna go to my battle phase. And I'm just gonna unleash Fury oh. on you. I feel like that should have been really a voiceover on the anime. Ow. <laughs> Owie, I lose. Okay, so I wasn't expecting us to go into duel three. Okay, this is the tiebreaker match. So she's won one. I've won one. Let's see who walks away. Dark Magician? Or is it Blue Eyes? Yugi or Kaiba? I'm gonna go first. I am going to special summon Cosmo Brain. And then I'm going to Activate Dark Magic Veal, pay a thousand life points. I'm going to special summon the Dark Magician in attack position. And I'm going to special summon the Princess Illusion Magician by discarding one card. I'm going to activate her effect. Or not, that works as well. So I will then I'll just go ahead and activate Verte. Pay another two thousand. So I paid three thousand life points. That might not be the smartest thing to do, but it is gonna get me the dark magicians, and then I'll pass for turn. So that was a big risky move because if you get a blue eyes out now, then you'll overpower Verte and my Dark Magicians. Okay, so I'm gonna activate my Dark Magicians to draw a card since you activated a spell. And risk exposed. Um, and made it. And... Oh man, she said, uh, this is not looking good for me right now. So I did earlier because I had to send a card to the graveyard so that I could activate, um, what is it? The Melody of Awakening Dragon. I sent a blue eyes. So I just got my blue eyes back. So you're going to attack this one first. Bye-bye. You're going to attack. Bye, Verte. I miss you. Now you're going to end. Oh man, man, man. Okay, I'm gonna set one card and then pass for turn. You may just have this in the bag. I may, I made some mistakes, I think, on my first turn. Bring this one out, which is another alternative white dragon. We're going to activate its effect. To destroy. I am going to your card. activate from the hand Ghost Ogre to Snow Rabbit to destroy your alternative dragon, but not negate it. Oh, you did. Forgot about your Return of the Dragon Lords. We're going to go to battle. We're going to attack and win. Fair enough. Fair enough. Fair enough. I. I I concede the duel. Is it really conceding if you're already lost? <laughs> <laughs> Just curious. I'm, I'm agreeing that I lost in a manner befitting of the blue eyes. <laughs> so there, uh, 
So guys, hopefully you enjoyed this video. Uh, again, we're gonna do more duels throughout October for Dueltober and stay tuned for next time when we do the, again, the mail opening video where I'm gonna make my deck from a casual Dark Magician deck to a competitive Dark Magician deck. Dueling against Rebecca's same deck, she just wiped the board clean with me this time and it'll be a whole different experience. And then at some point down the road, I get to have an opportunity to make my deck more competitive and hopefully wipe the board with him again. So we'll see what happens. So guys, thanks for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe to the video below. We really would appreciate it. And you can always find us on Facebook and Instagram as well. Peace out. See you next time, guys. Bye. Bye.